Henning sensors rely on a unique patented principle that allows the measurement of absolute loads on elevator ropes and current suspension means. Other load measurement sensors give results 5% to 25% above or below the actual load. The rope is deformed within the sensors to describe a curve. The strain gauges measure the force exerted by the rope as it tries to return to its original straight form. The heavier the load is, the more force is exerted. The resulting measurements are often faulty, since ropes exert various additional forces on the sensing elements based on differing diameters, inner rope designs, stranding methods, and other factors. Even if they are calibrated on the ropes after mounting them with a known load compensation of the car weight, they still give only approximate measurements and are not really suitable for a mobile load measurement process. In response to this challenge, Henning developed a measurement principle that allows the manufacture of three different types of rope sensors and a group of belt sensors, each of which covers certain diameter and load ranges or manufacturer's belt types. Each sensor contains a strain gauge with a full bridge. This is cost effective and allows the sensor to be temperature stable. A special electronic unit supplies the sensor with stabilized voltage and maintains its calibration values. The measurement signal is amplified inside the sensor from microvolts to an interference-prone voltage up to 5 volts. This means that poorly shielded frequency converters, among other things, cannot as easily cause interference in the measurement signal. The sensors may be periodically reset to ensure ongoing accuracy and calibration. Henning's measurement method has been tested and proven in repeated and controlled tests. As long as the user follows instructions and takes care of the testing tools, the results will be more accurate than those of any other measuring device available.